Ladies and gentlemen, meanwhile, prologue. Uh, the Whitney Museum at Philip Morris recently invited me to perform in their performance series. But after I described the scene you're about to see, the invitation was politely withdrawn. Meanwhile, in New York City, there is a thriving art scene, anchored by the great Metropolitan Museum of Art. And a little further uptown, that great modern art museum, the Guggenheim. And all the way downtown, various performance venues and alternative spaces. Ah, look, successful artists. Well, what do you think, the Odeon? Nah, Indochine. All right, Indochine. Ah, look, starving artists. Well, Jim, what after that apartment on Avenue? Where are you going to move into? Not nah, burned down. Ah, oh, too bad. And gay and lesbian artists. Well, Jim, how's your week? Oh, not too bad. I only got beat up once. Well, that's great. Yeah. And performance artists. Oh, say can you see? Oh, hi, Karen. Oh, uh, hello, Miss Finley. How you doing there? Oh, Karen, I thought you weren't coming tonight. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> now, the starving artists here live above a uh, chock full of nuts. While the gay and lesbian artists live above the famous Cafe Bustello on Avenue A. And uh, the successful artists, well, they live in Southampton, which is really too expensive for us to recreate here this evening. <laughs> ah, look! The art patron! Oh, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Phil. Oh, hello, Mr. Morris. Oh, hello. Oh, you artists. I love this charming garret you live in. Look at that. Why oh, move over and make room for me? Oh, that's great. Oh, I find it so amusing the way you choose to live in abject poverty. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Endowment for the Arts. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my chair? Thank you. Lovely. All right, then. Well, now, let's start giving out the grants here today. Um, could you please bring in the grant money? Yes, sir, right away. Get your peanuts, get your hot roasted peanuts, get your peanuts, get your grants, check it out, get your peanuts. Now, wait a minute, you can't give out that grant money they haven't filled out their final report. All right, now, let's start with performance art. All right, very good. First recipient, John Fleck. Oh, hooray, thank you, oh, that's great. Um, next, Tim Miller. Whoopee! Yeah, fabulous, great. And Karen Finley. Oh, say, now I can pay my rent, sort of, can't I, hooray? And Holly Hughes. Whoopee, hooray, yeah, and I have a new haircut, too. And Paul Lazoom. Well, uh, actually, it's Zaloom. Yes, well, Lazoom, Gazoom, Bazoom, I don't give a damn, just take your money and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> all right, well, congratulations to you all on a job well done. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., up on Capitol Hill, <laughs> Senator Jesse Helms is preparing for a meeting. Now, let me see here. Hmm, I've got to find a coterie of like-minded and narrow-minded and simple-minded knuckleheads like myself. Now, where can I find them? Where can, why, the U.S. Congress, of course. How stupid can I be? Now, let me see. Congressman Roar back at Dynamo. Come on out here. Oh, yes, Jesse. Oh, Jesse, baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh you killed me. Oh, 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 who is your haberdasher? Oh, 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 I'm here. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Thank you. Thank you there, Roar back at Dynamo. Now, I need some spiritual uh, guidance here. Um, I need uh, Reverend Donald Wildman of the American Family Association. Oh, yes. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, I am the light. You are the batteries. Glory, hallelujah. <laughs> All right, now, uh, listen, Donald, actually, uh, I'm running for re-election, and you're taller than I am, and you're upstaging me, so go down there, will you, please? Oh. Glory, anything for you, Jesse. Yes. All right, now, gentlemen, 
Uh, I'm running for re-election and I need an issue because that Harvey Granite guy is going to kick my ass when I'm not... My God! What's going on over there in Sodom? Why, look at that! Why, they're giving government money to homosexuals and lesbians! I don't believe it! Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Oh, that's a good one, Jesse! Go after the artists! They're apathetic! They don't vote! They don't give a shit! They'll never get organized! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Now, be quiet there, Dynamite Aurora backup! All right, now, who the hell's in charge here? What the hell's going on? I want to know who's in charge! Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts, Mr. John Fronmeyer. Now, what the hell is going on here? I want to straighten out these, these gays and, and trans lesbians here. I'll get money and I want something done about now. Oh, yes, Mr. Helms. Yes, Mr. Helms. Anyway, you just sit in our waiting room. I'll take care of it. Well, let's see. We've got to face political realities. I'm sorry, Karen Fiddler. We've got to take away my... Hey, what are you doing? And Holly Hughes and, and John Fleck and Tim Miller. Uh, we, we need some sacrificial lambs. And, hey, wait a minute. Uh, yes, and, and Zaloom, you, you can keep your money because you appear to be the correct sexual orientation to be a state-approved and financed artist in America today. Well, I hope that's enough. Is that enough, please? Is that enough? Is that enough? No, it's not enough. From my, from my, whatever the hell your name is. Get the hell out of here. Go back to Seattle and your liberal Republican friends. And as for you, NEA, through the goalpost. Get out of here. Franklin Furness, yeah. But I've, I've got to teach these artists a lesson. Got to teach them about art and beauty. Let me think now. Let me think. Hmm. Let me see now. Let me see. What the hell am I going to do? Hmm. Why, by God, I've got it. Well, I'll open my own museum. Yes, the Jesse Helms Museum. Oh, that's a rich one, Jesse. Oh, you're brilliant. Oh, that's so watching moronic. Oh, I love it. Oh, all right, shut up there, Dan and Hacker, Boren, Meyer, whatever the hell your name is. Now, I need a curator for my museum, though. Let me see. Uh, who am I going to use? Wow, wow, Morris, get over here. Get up. Oh, yes, Mr. Helms, anything you want. Your wish is my command. I'll do it for you. All right, now build me a beautiful museum and fill it full of pretty art. Oh, yes, yes, art. Okay, let me think. Art, art. Well, first we need a museum. So let's get rid of this shine over here. And there, we have a museum right there. Okay, lovely. Sort of a Hans Hacker ripoff, but it's popular tonight. Next, let's see. Art, art, art. Photorealism, yes, photorealism. There we are, oh, lovely. And we need an old master's, yes, an old master's. A Rembrandt, yes. Well, it's a lesser Rembrandt, but it's a Rembrandt nonetheless. And let's see, sculpture. Yes, there's a classical sculpture that's... Oh my God, why that's a maple thorn sculpture. Why look at that, there's an ornamental log approaching this rectal area there. Well, get rid of that pornography right now, get off. I'm going to get my own artist in residence. Yeah, that's right. Bring in my own artist in residence. Uh, I'll be your artist in residence. Now, that's the kind of art I can understand. Meanwhile, epilogue. According to the New York Times, approximately $4 million of a total of $5 million has been raised in the new Jesse Helms Museum to be located in Monroe, North Carolina. Thank you.